Hello and welcome to the Salesforce learning session. Today in this session, we will learn how DX Salesforce DX can be used to deploy metadata from one normal Salesforce org to another org. So that means we can use Salesforce in our we can use Salesforce DX in our existing Salesforce org where Salesforce DX is is not yet enabled. So uh, let's say today you might be using ANT for deployment if you have huge number of components. But the same thing can be done using Salesforce DX. And the setup is quite easy and it's simple to understand when it comes to Salesforce DX. Uh, apart from that, it is native to Salesforce, so it is always recommended to move from uh, ANT based deployment to Salesforce DX. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, uh, we need to install command line interface, which is called CLI from uh, this given URL. So let me go ahead and install, uh, download the installation file, CLI installation file. Here you can see as per your uh, operating system, you can download .exe file, which is installer file. Once this is downloaded, you can execute that that exe file and system will will install cli for you if your system already has git in a git installed uh, then uh, otherwise it will install git for you because git and C, git and salesforce dx is coupled uh, together so once the download is completed you can go to this file Just accept the default. So as I said earlier, if my system doesn't does not have Git installed, then it will ask me to install Git as well. So I'll go ahead and install Git, Git also. I am I'm accepting the defaults. Nothing special here. It will take some time and 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 CLI will be installed for me. Okay, now installation got completed. So to verify whether I have installed the CLI correctly or not, I will go ahead and open command prompt and type SFDX. So if CLI installed correctly, then I will not get any error. Something like this will occur. So it is updating something in the background. That means I have updated. I have installed git i have installed cli correctly so let's wait for system to update make some update once this is done we can go ahead and get started with our deployment process it is still updating some components so just wait for a few minutes so as you can see update is done here, so for demo purpose, I'll be using two developer org. One is source and another one is the target. So I have some custom codes and classes in source org, which I'll be moving to target org using Salesforce DX. So as you can see, here are few commands which we will be using uh, in this session, which you can uh, you can memorize or write somewhere Andy, so you can use them as and when required. So first command is for logging into any Salesforce app. So here it is not required that whatever uh, Salesforce instance you are logging in has to be Salesforce DX enabled. So you can log in, in log in into any environment which which is not necessary to be uh, DX enabled. So I am going ahead and logging into my source org. So uh, the command is sfdx force auth web login dash a source. So dash a means I'm giving an alias uh, to my logged in org as source, right? So I will copy this command and paste this. Okay. So it will open a new tab in the web browser where I where I need to provide my username and password for my source org. 
as you can see it open new tab automatically where I'll go ahead and sign in so as soon as I'm signed in Salesforce CLI with DX CLI will get the authentication token and you can see uh, the message that you may now close the browser so there is no need of uh, keep this session uh, keep this browser tab open you can close this now because Salesforce CLI has already uh, get the get the authentication token okay so we have we have logged into source logged into our source org. now I will switch my local directory uh, to some to uh, some place where I'll be storing my retrieved metadata okay so I will be storing my storing my retrieved metadata into this, this directory one thing that you need to keep in mind is your path should not have space within it so you cannot keep it d d space drive space data so that in that way you will run into multiple issues so your path should always be without a space so now if you see in the salesforce dx i have one source folder where i have defined one package.xml which is sample package.xml where i have i have declared apex classes apex component that is those kind of metadata i want to retrieve from my source of. okay so that will be used when i uh, make a retrieve call from source of. so to retrieve i will use this command metadata api retrieve command where uh, desk r is the file name which i want to be stored as and as you is username I, uh, source from source org I want to retrieve my data and this is the package.xml where I have defined which data to be fetched I will go ahead and execute this command you are seeing that system is doing some sort of tasks I have used list of metadata that is why it may take some some extra time so just be patient with the me and CLI but so uh, result is successful you have retrieved your data from source of if you go back back you see your data is retrieved and this is a chip file okay I have retrieved this data you can uh, extract this file here You can see uh, there are a number of different metadata I have classes where uh, I have this one or two classes uh, so this is how we can retrieve this data now I'll go ahead and uh, deploy this to a separate org which is target org so first for, for, for that first I need to log into my target org so I can uh, log into two instances from uh, from CLI so as I as I use earlier I need to use the second uh, first command once again to log into target off so this time what I will do is I will use alias as target instead of source so I can you can put any name that is that is easy to remember uh, for you here I'll be uh, using source and target for demo purpose so again it is asking for a uh, credential for your target off so you can just provide your your uh, target or credential. So I'm uh, I'm I'm successfully I have successfully logged into target org as well. So system is saying now you can uh, close this tab as I did earlier. Okay. So I will copy this folder and paste it here and. So to deploy my metadata, I'll be using second command, which is deploy. So dash C means I'll not be deploying. It, it will be used for validation only, but in case, but here I'll be 
deploying my data with metadata instead of validating i'll remove this uh, dash d means uh, the folder where my unpack is my uh, sources sources there so and dash u means the org where i want to deploy my metadata dash w means wait time uh, for deployment okay i will go ahead and so as you can see the result was success uh, i can uh, verify the same by going to the target org here i will go ahead and check what happened to my deployment so you can see deployment status so the last deployment was successful with total number of 180 component so it's as easy as a use of so there are multiple benefits of using salesforce dx over uh, command line over command line and deployment method because it is very easy to set up there is no need of installing and or third party apart from that there is no need of uh, storing your uh, username password of different different dog in your configurable configurable file because that is something uh, vulnerability to your security so just so uh, go ahead and start using start practicing with salesforce dx which is really really cool feature and i will be uploading more videos uh, related to dx so stay tuned thank you bye bye